Hey everybody and welcome back to another episode of Air Alert 2 with Mimi Heard 37. So we continue here uh, in the Duke. We're going to switch back over to the first one. That's the black and gold one. I kind of like that plane. I kind of like that livery. Uh, I parked it over at KRDU in Durham. I can't even remember what flight we did last. It's been a little, little while. Uh, but... Because I remember I flew some... I can't even remember now. What was it? KRDU. Because I remember we flew like ZRDU and I had to move it myself or something like that. I think that was in the last one. Uh, but anyway, in this flight we're going to go from KRDU over to 2M2, which is Lawrenceburg, Tennessee. As you can see, it's about 415 miles. And there's actually going to be two uh, jobs because one weighs 947, the other 877, so we can combine them. And fly him in one flight, and as you can see, that'll bring a little, a little over thirty, a little over thirty-two grand. It's a pretty far flight compared to what we normally do, but as we get, you know, these bigger planes, uh, all of them will be a little bit longer. Looking over here at FS Commander, over here at Raleigh, you can see the wind is coming out of the southwest, so we're going to take off on runway twenty-three. It's uh, either left or right, because I'm not, I think I'll use last position. I think it'll be on 23 left, but I'm not totally for sure. Uh, either way, it's going to be 2, 3, 4 degrees as the heading of the runway. And we'll come over here to Lawrenceburg. And the wind, I think it's going to come out of the south. There's all kinds of different ones. Like southwest, southwest, southwest. This one's north. It's kind of northwest, uh, north, northwest over here. So we're just going to say... That uh, it's coming from the south. Kind of like these. I don't know. It's kind of hard. Now there's like all kinds of them popping up. And they're all over the place. I didn't notice that. All right. We'll zoom in. We're going to take, uh, or sorry, land on runway 17. That's a hang of 169 degrees. And the airport elevation is about 935 feet. So come over here uh, and get into the traffic pattern. We're going to land on runway 17. So let's go over here to accepted jobs. I've already got this thing loaded up. I can't click both of them. All right, whatever. I'll just hit fly now because, like I said, we got both of them loaded up right there. I put it for 600 miles because I think we actually burn more fuel uh, than this thing thinks. So I, uh, I'm going to keep the plane a little more fuel than it says that we need, especially when we do patterns and stuff like that. VFR, we're going to the west. Let's go to like 14.5. And the time, I'll move that back to like 4.44. Last position, because I, like I said, I think we landed at ZRDU and I had to move it. I think that's what happened. Uh, so I'll put last position. Because in that time, all I did was taxi it over to the building, so I'm not quite sure. But uh, with that, let's go ahead and move on over to the plane. So here we are, everybody, at the plane. I think this is right. We're going to take 23 left because we're on the back side of the airport. Sometimes there are some planes here. I thought there was when I uh, taxied over here, but I don't see anything. Not today. So jump in the plane here. and We'll go ahead and get her started up. Prop controls. Go forward. By the way, I've got the parking brake on. Full forward, low pitch. Mixture controls are an idle cutoff. We can go ahead and turn our battery on. It's a cold start, so a throttles. About a half inch eye open, obviously, a little more. Alright, so a boost pump comes on. I should have actually did that before that, but that's alright. One, two, three. Let's go ahead and the mags. Full forward. That looks good. All right, so we want about a thousand to fifteen hundred. That is good. We do have oil pressure in our left engine, so we're okay there. Let's go ahead and turn this generator on. I'm gonna go ahead and shut that fuel fuel boost off. All right, right one coming on. Bring this up. One, two, three. Bring that off. Let's go ahead and start. Oh, 
Oh, oh. I had to end up left clicking it. Oh no, now the left one's off. Oh man, I got caught. I hit gift to right click it, and I guess I didn't get it good enough, so it brought up the other thing. Alright, right one's good. Generator coming off. Turn the left generator off. Alright, that's between 1,000 and 1,500, by the way. We do have oil pressure, so that looks good. I tried to keep this one alive, but I didn't get it. Boost pump. Roll forward. Alright, we do have oil pressure again. Generator coming on. And a fuel boost coming off. Although, I think it... I can look at the temperature over here. It looks like it was right at 90. It might be just below it. Yeah, it's just below 90 degrees. So we don't have to leave the fuel boost on. Can I see the actual temperature? Yeah, 88. So we don't have to leave it on. I'm going to go ahead and turn the inverter on. All right, let's go ahead and... Uh, you know what? I always forget to turn the beacon on. Deck on it. Nav light as well. Taxi and landing lights. Let's look at the load there. And that looks okay. Let's just go ahead and our, turn our avionics on here. By the way, let's get these both the same there. And taxi and landing lights need to go off. Alright, let me go over here. So we've checked the voltages. Avionics got the master switch on. Now we just got to turn all this on. Ah, come on. Where are my buttons? There they are. That's why. So I got clicked over. And put that on VFR and it's on standby. I'm going to go ahead and switch over to GPS. How am I not getting this on? There it is. So I clicked the wrong one. I didn't remember where the power switches were. Lights are as required. Cabin temperature don't worry too much about. Let's see your warning lights. We'll go ahead and test that. That looks good. Instruments, everything looks good. I just reset the altimeter. Let's put my heading to 234. Oh, there it was. 234 line up with a runway heading oh, let's go ahead and turn the pedo heat on prop heat as well prop sink is needs to be off I do believe it is off so that looks good I said 14.5 so let's go ahead and check the pressure someone left me a message about that on one of my first ones in this plane So I put that right there at about 14.5. So he was talking about the, out the, with the cabin, but the numbers go together. You know, you can't separate them. I, I think that's correct right there. 14.5, so to put it about 15,000. Because no matter what, the cabin altitude is going to be the same with that. I'm not sure if I'm explaining that well, why I do that. But there you go. I'll go ahead and put that on auto cool, by the way. Since it's there, I think that's right. I always suck at pressurization. I'm not sure why. All right, we can go ahead. Let me bring this back up. We'll go ahead and taxi. Parking brake coming off. And the taxi light is on. So let's go ahead and taxi on over. Our Holler 2's got us. Always good to get that reassurance. Let me see the frame rate. It almost doesn't feel like 30. It kind of dips down a little bit, doesn't it? KRDU, not the friendliest on frame rates, but usually not too bad. Alright, I'm not sure if we'll have room right here. I think we might. If not, we'll have to go on down. Let's take a look outside real quick. If 
we were to take off right there. Yeah, that's the player room. This thing gets up to speed real quick. So let's go on over and then we'll do our run up and get the heck on out of here. Fly on over to Tennessee. What was it Lawrenceville? Lawrenceburg? Nah, I can't even remember. I have a terrible memory. I don't know why. 2M2, I remember that. I can't remember. Lawrenceville, Lawrenceburg? I can't remember. Alright, let's go ahead down here and put our parking brake back on. Do our warm up here. Fuel boost coming on. Alright. Put the cross seeds on for about 10 to 15 seconds. That's usually when I do the pressurization and everything. Let me make prop sure prop sync is off. So we don't definitely don't want that on. Let's go ahead and set our altitude 14.5. All right, let's turn these both back to on. I could have been doing this while we were at it. Those are off. Pop it back out. There we go. That are off. All right, instruments have all been checked. Let's go ahead. Check. Light controls, rudder pedals, everything looks good there. Flaps. Check operation is set. They're coming down. Prop sync is off. Landing gear system, if installed. I don't know how to check that exactly. Let's go ahead and check our mags on the right engine. Actually, what is... All right. I actually want to... In between uh, 10 and 15 there. So now let's check the mags. Slight drop is okay. All right, mags on the right engine look okay. Get the slight drop again. All right, mags on the left engine look good. Pressurization is set. Ah, uh, you know what? You're supposed to dag on it. Mags, I thought you'd take it up more. Actually, checking the mags at 2,000. I thought it was hooked up to 2800 or something. There's 2000. I knew it was doing something. Let's check this again real quick. That looks right for the right engine. A little bigger drop right there. But it looks okay. Pressurization is set. Now we can go back down to 1500. And let's check the fe feather here. That looks good. We checked the load meters and that all looked good. Gyro pressure. And for some reason, there it is. That looks good as well. I was about to say, I can't remember where that is. By the way, I always forget that one too. Kyle flaps. Temperature, cylinder head temperature is getting up there. Now they'll come back down. Always gotta forget something. Looks like a Skyhawk or something. Glad we checked. So... I don't see any other lights down there, so I think left and right were good. Landing lights and strobes coming on. Parking brake coming off, reset my view, and let's go ahead and get on out of here. We'll do a rolling takeoff. All right. Advancing the throttles to full power. Airspeed is alive. Alright, we'll go ahead and rotate. 
I like to get a little more speed because of how heavy we are. Tap the brakes and stop the wheels. Pause the rate and gears coming up. All right, we can go ahead and retract our flaps. Fly straight, fly straight on out of here just a little bit. All right, everything looks good. Bringing down the power now. 35 and a half. It was about 91. We got about 27.50. That's what we want. 27.48. Everything looks good. I'm trying to fly with my left hand. I gotta get a little better with it. Always have to let go of the daggone controls. Let's go ahead. I'm going to turn on the yaw damper. I want to take a little look outside. Come on now. Autopilot. Let's just keep this heading for now. Armor for the altitude. Let's take a look outside. We're going to climb at 1,100 feet a minute, by the way. So I think a lot of that is Latin VFR. Because you the cars and stuff and as you get away a little bit I think it's back over to FTX or Orbex whatever they call it looks really good though and you can still see the cars and stuff that's got to be Latin VFR so I don't think Orbex I don't think they're open LT open LC North America or in vector do that. All right, we've gotten far out enough. Let's go ahead and come over to the right. I think we can go ahead and turn the fuel boost off and it'll turn prop sync on. See, it makes that sound as soon as you do that. I'm not sure exactly what that is. Then it goes away. We'll go over a little bit. Get onto our line, our track. That's just regular old open LC and everything. And FTX Global. We'll intercept that track and then I'll switch it over to nav, which will follow it out. Let's go ahead and get this out of the way. Let's set it up. All right, so about 409 miles from out here. And it's going to take about three hours. Of course, we'll speed up a little bit. We don't speed up a whole lot, though. You see, I move it back to about 66. That's probably why we use a little bit more fuel. It's because I leave it 66, which I think is slightly high. Let's go ahead and lean the engines out. Or mixture. I guess leaning the engines out is also correct. That's good there. Let's look into the cylinder head temperatures. Most of the EGT looks like it's pretty high, which is good. And desired track will be 276. We're almost to the track. Can to get up in the clouds? Hopefully at 14.5 are clear. Might have to go a little bit higher than that. We do have anti-ice on this plane. So hopefully it'll be good enough that we don't have any problems. Increase that to 1,200 feet a minute. Try to get us through here as quick as possible. 
look at the temperature. It is 58 degrees, so I don't think we'd have any real problems with freezing. I can't remember the exact temperature they tell you to watch out on that. I see there's that weird sound again. I, it could be the pressurization. Fifteen hundred. Twelve hundred feet a minute. And here's the differential. And then that seems to be within the green, I guess, so we're okay. Climb rate. It says zero. I don't understand that. Those stupid click spots, because I've set it obviously at twelve hundred. So I'm not, I, I just don't quite understand. Or I, I'm doing it correctly and I, this doesn't make sense. All right, so switch over to nav. What was that heading? 276. I'm gonna slow this climb down. Our speed is getting a little low here. thousand feet a minute there I feel like increasing the power a little bit I think we'll just slow our climb 800 although I think a big reason is also because I haven't leaned these out again this will give us a little more power yeah you can hear it and you can see we climb up yeah, that was the problem, was just leaning those out, you get so much more power. By the way, we can turn the taxi light off. Got about 6,000 feet to go. This doesn't look good. It doesn't look good at all. We can go up over 20,000, but I'm not really sure I want to do that. and two miles three and a half hours all right well I think everything is pretty well set up we'll look at this cylinder head temperature I wonder if I put it in half 225 is the max I see there goes that sound going off again it's, it's got to be with pressurization or something. So we're about 20 below on that. So we should be pretty good. You can see that's getting, uh, as our speed goes up, I'm kind of surprised we're speeding up that much all of a sudden. <laughs> I don't know. Hopefully we don't have any problems. It's just we're getting so high up. Or not that we're getting so high up, it's the day on clouds. It's thick through here. The weather's been bad everywhere. I keep forgetting of that altitude. Or the transponder. Coming up on 10,000. Landing lights can go off. Reset my views here. The speed has gone up a lot. I'm going to move that to 900. Put this at 45. All right, and so less than three hours. I want to go ahead and speed her on up, everybody, and uh, we'll be back in just a little bit.
All right, everybody, slowing it down here. We are dangerously low on fuel. We use so much more fuel than we're supposed to. I just don't get it. Anyway, we're at 32, going on our way down to 19. I'm going to hate to bring that mixture up. Actually, I actually brought the fuel flow down a little bit. Let's set up ATC. The 2M2 Lawrenceburg. There we go. Runway for landing is runway 17. A full soft landing. Wait till we're 10 miles out here. Sars. Position. Six gallons. You know what? We can't go into the pattern. We, there's no way we can go into the pattern. We're at six gallons. We're using way too much fuel to go into the pattern. We're going to have to just go straight on in. And, and we'll be good to make it then. I think we're just going to make it. And we had was 415 miles and we put enough fuel to go 600. I mean, that's 50% as much and we're still about to run out of fuel. So I don't quite get it. Just hold on, girl. We got eight miles. We got to be able to make it on like eight gallons. Or six. <laughs> so we have like 12 total gallons. That's ridiculous. Let's see. Prop sync off. Taxi and landing lights are on. I'll turn the boost pumps on when we get close. I don't think that'll use any extra fuel. I'm pretty sure it doesn't. All right, so we're good there. I don't know if we can... Oh, I'm not going to do it because when we start putting flaps up and everything... We start putting flaps out, we use more fuel. Six miles out. We're still at six gallons. I just don't think if we did it, you know, the whole pattern and everything, I don't think we would make it. I really don't. Tell everyone we're five miles out. Don't want to go too far out. I also don't want to be too close because we're about a thousand feet up. Obviously, because we were set up for the pattern. It's MO2, so that's not us. Still six gallons. We're only just sitting at like 200. I can't, I just got set at two or 300 feet a minute. Because I, uh, I was so worried about fuel, I started descending it like 70-some miles out. And it was obviously way too far. But I wanted to do that so I could get off the power. I don't know if that was a good thing or not. We kept a decent speed. That's just a... We were cruising at like 189. Well, that says 160. Oh, that, this goes different altitude, though. Six gallons. We're lucky it still says six gallons. We're about to have to increase the power, I have fear, because we're about to level out another 100 feet. And it better not be hard to find either. There she is. Autopilot coming off. Jaw damper, you're off. Gear coming down. M02 again. Flaps coming out. I'm going to go ahead and say that we're on final. Whoa. 
I don't know if we're turning fast enough or not. Uh, a little too fast, actually. All right, we're at full flaps. Here we're gonna get too low here. Yeah, we're a little low. Increase the power. There we go. Now we're on her. Probably got my flaps out a little early also when you're solo on a fuel because it creates that deck on drag and everything. But we're going to get down. We're going to make it. Once again, we come down so hard in this thing. I really struggle landing this plane. Could we bounce it like crazy? I am smoking the brakes, by the way. That's just so crazy. I do we? We're just coming down. I don't know if it's too fast on the descent or the speed is too fast or what. Alright, it's not above 90, I'm sure. Hey, 80, it's almost warmer here than it was in Raleigh. Although I guess it is pretty warm in Tennessee. Uh, stop the recording. Let's get our lights off here. Can't hardly see. Strobes, landing. And I guess we gotta park straight ahead. Transponder is off. And it looks like the fuel is to the left, so we'll go to the right and just pull up to that building. Yeah, that was full. Full rich. We'll see how much fuel we have left. It's going to be maybe four or five gallons in each tank. We're just using so much fuel. Alright, parking brake coming on. I should have turned the defroster off already. See how much fuel. Uh, five gallons in each tank. Unreal. Alright, let's look. And we did a crack. I said it was okay, which... We just, uh, I struggle with this plane, I don't know why. Parking brake is set. I'll put it between 10 and 15. Electrical and avionics equipment can all go off. Transponder is off. I almost forget where to click now. Get all this off. There we go. Avionics master switch can go off. I'll turn the inverter off. Cabin temp mode it needs to be off. Throttles at about a thousand prop uh, high RPM. It needs to be right at about a thousand. Fuel boost pumps are off already. Mixture idle cutoff. Magnetos when the engine is stopped turning. Alright, so those are off. Battery and generator. By the way, oh, that, that is off. Alright, let's go over to Air Hauler 2. There we go. Unload the cargo. Let's get these pays so much because we're <laughs> using so much in fuel. Hey! Our builder, new salary zero.
Yay me. <laughs> Oh, all right. Took off at 4.56, landed at 7.41. It was 2 hours, 44 minutes. Took off with 688 pounds of fuel, landed with just 63. So we used like 93% of our fuel. 90%. That's crazy. Max altitude, 14,508. Max pitch, negative 11.20. Max roll, negative 27.53. Max speed was 177.58 knots. MMG, 0 0.89. MMG exceeded 0. Max G is 1.45. Max G is exceeded 0. Stall falls. Overspeed falls. Lane description okay. Gear down true. Lane on asphalt. Uh, surface damage 0. No damage to the plane. That came down 252.59 feet a minute. Landing speed 84. That doesn't seem too fast. The vertical speed does. Landing pitch negative 6.27. Landing roll negative 1.10. Uh, landing heading 177. Uh, wind speed was 1 2, wind direction 279. So it was coming out of the west. All right, well, that gets us up to over a little over 1.3 million. So I'm quite happy with that. Because, uh, I mean, we could get a new plane now. I just want to. The thing is, I don't. The only reason I don't want to get another plane right now is because I'm having such a hard time landing this one. I want to. At least land it good once. We haven't had, I don't know if I've landed it very good once at all. The next one will probably be, yeah, there it is, the Chieftain. The uh, PA-31, uh, Supply for PA-31-350 Chieftain from Alabeo. As you can see, it costs 564000 I kind of want to buy two at the same time so we can get one into the passenger flights. It can cost us 112000 That would leave us with $1.2 million. Or no, I'm sorry, it was 11000 cost us $1.12 million. Uh, so it leaves us with 200000 We don't, because I want to get a new base, but we don't really need a new base right now. I mean, we're doing fine with Jacksonville, and then the next base is going to be around here. Like Daytona Beach will probably be one, because I do really like Daytona. And we've got, like, like I said, several of them down here. I'm not even sure how much Daytona you could see that from fleet. Let's say it's just this one, just because. No, obviously, not going to actually do it. And they're probably boarding. They got it. Should be boarding. Opening three hundred thirty-five thousand. So. Uh, would actually be really close to being able to get a new one. I'm not sure how much that would actually help us right now. Is it Tallahassee we have? Or no, I think it's Pensacola we actually have. Scenery 4 2. Hmm, so I don't know. I could, we'll do at least one more in that Duke, because I really, like I say, I really want to be able to land it better. There's Caitlin. She's out here. She'll get us some more money. How much, Caitlin? Hey, that pays 28 grand. You got three days to do it. I'll let, let her do that. She'll probably have to take two trips out there, but it pays 28 grand. And we're out here. Might have her get, pick me up because I gotta go to back to work tomorrow for a couple days. Sometimes I can fly after work though, so it's not all bad. Yeah, these these never go to where you want them to go. I swear to God. I was trying to get someone, Caitlin, last time. She was out here, and everything was flying out here. Nothing was coming back. I don't know why that is. So they're always going the wrong way. Snakes, while well, you can transport snakes, that would no, I would not do that ever. That's craziness. Huh, she's just west of Atlanta. All right, so uh, yeah, at least the next one will be in the Duke because I really want to stay in it, land it good at least once because that landing was that was maybe one of our worst, which since the gear actually has worked. Uh, but anyhow, that's gonna be it for this episode, everybody. I hope you all did enjoy it. I'll catch you guys on the next flight.